Hello guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. No Kerbal left behind. Now, uh, if you watched the last episode, or the end of the first episode, we needed to develop a rover to transport the uh, Strander Kerbal to the rescue vehicle. So here is a uh, test a drive of the rescue rover. Now, it being a transport rover, it has to be light and preferably quick. Uh, this can hit speeds of up to 20 meters a second, which is good. Now, what the tank you see on top is the tank that is going to gently drop this rover to the surface of the moon. And that's just testing out how the rockets are going to perform. Uh, I will change that design because I just found out that that, nope, it will not work. But then it will be jettisoned when it's no longer needed. Now let's take a trip over to the Rover MK1, which was a failed design. Now the Rover MK3, which you're looking at here, the third generation, has quite a few improvements. Now I noticed a curious thing. Uh, when you put an unmanned uh, space probe, such as uh, the beginning of a space capsule, on, uh, the next capsule you put that would normally be manned is not manned, which is perfect, and it enabled me to make such a smaller design. Now, we're going to see why in just a few minutes. Okay, yes, you can see. Now, this rover is four times smaller than that design, and all because I was trying to accommodate the hitchhiker container. But since now I don't need to do that, and so it is much, much, much smaller, and just a lot more efficient to drive. And besides strapping that to a rocket, the large design is going to be a, a, a chore. But, uh, that's it for this episode. See you next time.